Hi guys, I just wanted to show you a video uh, that's related to uh, my niece's video on her uh, glamping birthday party that she's having. So I created this invitation for her on canva.com. I'll put the link below. And it is a free website. You get to do so much free stuff with it. And once you want to do more advanced things, you would have to pay. Um, I don't pay for anything other than a couple logos that I've used and they're only like a dollar. So it's not really that bad. I love the website. It's really easy to use. So I created this. They had a template already for an invitation with camping. So I changed it, added more things to it. And it just says, let's go indoor glamping at Camp Jenna to celebrate her 10th birthday. We put the, the date, the time to be picked up, bring your sleeping bag and pillow. It's s'more fun with friends. So they're gonna have some s'mores, pizza, uh, they're going to do scavenger hunt. I added some lanterns on it and some ribbon um, streamer things up top. The tents were already provided. I added a fire, which was something that I had, it was an additional that I had to pay for. And the s'more little logo here, it's kind of small. You don't really recognize it, but put the stars on it. And I just put, uh, please RSVP to camp management, Jenna's dad. And then I put his phone number. And under Camp Jenna, it was just her address, so I've covered that up for confidential reasons. So uh, that's what the invitation looks like. I put it onto a five by seven uh, photo paper, and then I just cut it a little bit because it was the photo paper was a little too long, so I just cut it a little bit. And so now what I'm going to do is create the envelope to put that in so that she can hand it out to her girlfriends. What I'm gonna do is I took one piece of paper already out that I wanted to use and I'm using the We Are Memory Keepers 123 punch board. Now I'm not affiliated or anything with this. Um, I'm not sponsoring it and I'm, I'm not gonna be paid for it. So I'm just gonna show you how I made the envelope and I'm gonna use this. It was a Christmas gift that I received and so I'm gonna try and get some use out of it. Um, a lot of the stuff I have in here since I just got my craft room a year ago, I'd like to start using things a little bit more. So we are going to start with, um, on, the, on the little side piece here, it tells me for, uh, for this piece, I need a five by five envelope. So, or envelope, I should say. <laughs> um, I need my paper, I know you can't see this, but I need my paper at, eight and three eighths paper size. So it's gonna be a square envelope, so it's gonna be easier to make. And then I, I punch it at four and one eighths. I already cut the paper out. It is eight and three eighths, so it's a square. And my next measurement, it says I'm gonna punch at four and one eighth. So you just line your paper up. And you're measuring over on this side. So I'm going to line it right up to the four and one eighths. Take out my little scoring tool, four and one eighths, punch, and then I just take the scoring tool, and all I'm gonna do is score it all the way down following the line system that's here. Now, I, I do have a little difficulty in finding the line. Uh, sometimes I veer off, and I'm, I, uh, you know, obviously I haven't used this enough, but so just down, and go one more. This this paper is pretty pretty thick, so, and then from here, all I'm gonna do is flip again, 90 degrees, go four and one eighths. Same, don't oh, see, I did it again. There we go. Got to find that groove. Okay, flip again, four and one eighths. Oh, see, keep doing that. I don't know why I keep veering off. Obviously not in the groove. I'm having a hard time finding that. There we go. Four and one eighths. All right, so now it's all done. It's all ready to go. However, I don't like the corner pieces. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna round them off and you can do that right here on the back. If I use the other side, it actually puts a little slit inside the envelope so that you can click the two pieces together instead of using tape or what have you. I'm assuming that's what that means. So um, I heard a guy on uh, YouTube there the other day and he called these paper punch poopies or paper poopies. And I agree with them. I like to call them paper, paper punch poopies. 
They're just the extra pieces. So now I'm done with this. I don't need it anymore. And all I'm gonna do from here is, actually I'm gonna take my score, scoring tool back. So now that I've done my paper this way, now there is certain ways that people score their paper and uh, I should say fold their paper. I fold it this way. So I have this little ridge inside, so that means I'm gonna fold it away from me. If, I don't know if you can see it here, you can see the ridge, the bump is this way, then I would fold it towards me. I wanna to fold towards the bump. But because I want this piece, uh, this color to be on the outside and my groove is in, I guess the valley, then I'm gonna fold it away from me, okay? So then all I do, I flip my paper over, flip in, take your tool, same thing. Make sure you get in the, in the score line. Back up. There we go. So then all I'm going to do is what I like to do, um, since it's a square, it makes it easier which side I want to pick. All I'm going to do is put a little piece of tape or sticky you can use whatever you want you can use um, glue you can use tape double-sided tape whatever so since this outside portion is going to cover i always check make sure that it's going to cover the whole thing because sometimes if it's a rectangular shape this piece may extend past where this v is so then you got to really kind of make sure that you don't put your tape up in the corner so i i can see that it's going to fit perfect so I'm just gonna add some tape. Again, use whatever tape that you want or glue or what have you. There. Goes in. And now I just stick her imitation inside. Or her, yeah, her imitation. And then that's it. That's her, her envelope to send out with the imitation inside. She can decorate it, add names on it, or make it fancy, use whatever she wants on the outside to make it look really cool. So that's how you make an envelope.